Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games, and I have an announcement which you may have figured out already if you are a member, but uh, YouTube has a new feature which allows me to release a members-only video and then schedule it to become public. Um, and so that allows me to do early release videos much more easily. And so now I'm willing to say that all channel members will now get access to this video every day, the daily games video, as soon as I'm able to you know, get it uploaded and processed. So I can't guarantee a specific time, but it's almost always going to be at least 12 hours before it normally releases. So you'll be able to uh, watch this earlier if you want to watch it earlier in the day. If you sign up at, at as any tier of member, the live stream lover tier is the cheapest at $5 a month. Um, and so, yeah, hopefully that's an incentive for you guys uh, um, or for my existing members to actually get some some more benefit out of the memberships besides the, the little icon next to your name and access to those emotes. Um, so, yeah, especially since I haven't been streaming in a while, I thought um, I'd try to throw a bone to to my members here who are still uh, supporting me despite that. And maybe uh, maybe attract you. Maybe if you've been thinking about signing up for a membership, uh, now's the time you'll get early access to these videos. All right. I normally don't really uh, advertise my ways to support me very often, so just thought that this was a, a cool thing that I can do for my members. So um, I do know that YouTube has also been pushing out uh, my members-only videos, or in general members-only videos, to people who aren't members just to be like, hey, look, there's this video that you could be watching. Um, that's not me, that's just YouTube doing that on its own, and uh, so you may have noticed that uh, if you are a video enthusiast tier or higher, this has always been the case, you get access to my unedited Wordle Solve, again, ASAP, as soon as I can get that uploaded and processed. So again, no specific time for that, but usually at least like 12 hours before it normally releases, and that's the unedited one, so no cuts, no fancy effects, you get to see exactly what I recorded. Uh, this Daily Games video is already unedited, <laughs> so it'll just be the same video, just released a little early for members. Anyway, today's bonus game is Word 500. Uh, so we are going to start with Crypt, which is what we decided to start with for Word 500, because it kind of encrypts the clues. Ooh, both words have an R second, so we don't have to worry about which word we're guessing here. Let's just get some really good letters. I want the, um, I want the E and the A. So can we do like an R, A, and then E at the end word? Getting the L or the N would be really nice. I'm not sure if I can. Um, I could also do like an EA word like this. That helps. Honestly, not sure it does. There, surely there's a word like this. Why wouldn't there be? Um, okay, I'm going to do use an O and we'll do wrote. That's fine. All right, both, <laughs> again, the exact same result on both words. That's pretty funny. Um, okay, so maybe an R-E word. Um, it might make sense at this point to do double E if I can, but I'm not sure that I can. Um, how about dream? That's nice. <laughs> same exact result again. <laughs> Whoa, that's a cough. Sorry, I left myself to coughing. Let's get some water. So does it start with E or is the E here? I still think the E is more likely fourth. Um, how, what do we put there though? Like, ooh, gruel. That's fun. Gruel was one of the answers and we get a GR here. Okay, what is it? It's not green. Green would have been a good guess. Um. What goes between that R and E? We have I available. It can't be an E. I feel like it kind of has to be IE. Grief. Oh, nice. OK. Oh, I think that was a good solve. That was really funny, though, that I just kept getting the same result on both. Gruel and Grief do share the G, R, and E, so it's not that surprising. But I did avoid guessing the L for a while, which would have diverged them. Nice. All right, cool. Well, let's do Fibble. So there's a lot, one, exactly one lie in every guess. Um, it starts us off with split. So I'm going to bring in the T if I can, the most common letter, or maybe the S if I can't get the T. They're both pretty common. Um, how about the word tiled? Ooh, sorry. Tiled has two, oh, it has two lies because I put the L again in the middle. Oops. Um, I mean, I could do title. 
I don't know about re eh, actually in Fibble, I'm willing to repeat letters because it can catch lies um, more easily with repeat letters. Okay. Okay, so both T's both say gray, so I'm gonna I'm gonna believe that. The L and the I were both yellow again. Okay, can I bring in the S? Maybe I'll bring in the S and ignore the E. Although E at the end is really common. I'm not sure that it works in this case. So we'll try S L and then I, and then like sling. Yeah, sling has a lion each because it's the S lying here and it's the E lying there. Okay. Um, I have had surprisingly few contradictions here. So I really feel like I did place this L. Oh, the I, the, the I, we're assuming this I is the light. Okay, there is a contradiction between these I's and these I's. So we know there is an L in the word, definitely. Because if there wasn't an L in the word, I'd have to have all three of these lying, and then these I's would disagree, and these I's would disagree. So there is an L in the word. I'm, 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 I think it's reasonable to assume the L is second here, That's to, that these are truthful. Um, because these I's disagree, there's definitely no S. Um, one of those T's could be the lie, but no, I don't know where to put it. I still think this E is probably the lie, because <coughs> if it wasn't, you know, I think this I is the lie, I think this E is the lie, and then we have to bring in, we have to bring the T, the, the, the P. So P L I N, that's not a word. L I N P, no, that's not a word. Okay, I made a mistake. Okay, let's undo this. Let's just fill what's definitely true and not any assumptions. So because these two I's are lying, there is definitely an L in the word, but we can't mark that. There's definitely no S in these words. We don't know about that T. There's definitely not two T's. <laughs> so the second gray T is correct, but I'm not going to mark that. Um, hold on, is pling a word? No, no, we, I think this I is the lie. It would make sense for this I to be a lie. Um, it doesn't have to be placed there, but it would make sense to be placed there. What if we just end in T? Oh no, if we end in T, that, that's always going to be two lies here. What if this N was the lie and there's no I? I suppose it's possible. So if these I's were the lie, and this N was the lie, so there's no I and there's no N, then we'd have an L second and an E at the end, and that would that would work. Uh, we just have to do something like globe, no, not globe. Um, oops, because there's no G. Um, flume, flame. Let's do flame. Oh, <laughs> I didn't win. <laughs> um, one of these is a lie. Is it flume then? It is not flume. All right, because we got an X-wing though. One of these F's is lying. One of these M's is lying. So that means all of these are correct. Uh, it could be something like blame. Oh no, it can't be blame. Uh, hold on, what's going on here? Either this F is there's an F in the word because we can't have both of these F's lying. So I think it's something like flake then. Yes. Okay. Nice. You don't get this very often, where it's all green but not correct. That's always fun and fibble. I still think it should say like huh or something if that happens. Maybe I'll suggest that. Um, although I, I may have used up my suggestions by get, getting Keller to add the hard mode, but I'm enjoying the hard mode. I hope you are too. Okay. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Uh, Virgin Airlines, maybe. Island. Oh, there's the Virgin Islands too. Um, scales and bowl, like things you make statues of. <laughs> I don't know. A towel, twice pi. Um, although some would say pi is half towel. <laughs> Capital.
Hmm. Just can. Um. Clef. We got Trouble Clef and Base Clef. Um. That could be a fill in the blank. Base. I don't know what else would go with base or treble. So clef and staff, these are parts of music notation. Scales? Mm. Note is part of um <coughs> a part of music notation. What else is in music notation? I don't recognize anything else. In, oh, the scales are the are the lines, I think. No. Darn. Okay, I don't know. Um Shiny thing scales and gems. This one's tough. Twins. Pairs like I'm trying to think of categories here, but I don't have any connections right now. The only thing I've got is is I really think it is music notation um, elements. And I don't know what else would be an element of music notation. Rest. Rest is music notation. So I'm going to get rid of scales and put rest in. There we go. Found on sheet music. Okay. Um... Crab. <laughs> Island. Like, what is going on here? Three letter words. <laughs> Let's say that was true. It's probably three letter words that blah, 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 blah. All right. But I mean, come on. Um, I mean, tau is, is a Greek letter, right? I don't think these are related. There's like a Terence tau mathematician. I don't, I think that's how he spells his name. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Not off the top of my head. Um, this one's tough. Colombia. All right, Colombia spelled with a U is not the country. It's like the the only Colombia I know spelled with U. Okay, so there's like the District of Colombia, which is spelled with a U, and then there's also Colombia Pictures, which is the movie studio. Colombia is also just. It's a thing you make a statue of, right? Columbia is the 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 American goddess that that there are all those statues of Columbia and what the district of Columbia is named after. Um Bull is a statue uh in on Wall Street. There was something else I said was a statue. The scales. Like the lady, the lady Liberty holding the scales. I think it's actually Columbia who holds the scales. Um, this is a bit of a stretch, isn't it? Crab. Jim. Okay, I don't think I don't think that's it, but like what what would Columbia be?
I don't have anything to like lock on to here. None of these feel related to me at all. Except these are all three letter words. I may as well try it at this point. Three letter words, I was right. Okay. Um it says zodiac sign beginnings, but it should just say three letter words. Um Okay. Well, I was right that those go together, but not for for a good reason. Um okay, so what is this? Like uh Cancer, Gemini. Uh this is the one I am. And then um Taurus. What what is this one again? I'm not much into Zodiac. Um Libra. Libra. All right. Important things to be doing right now is, is thinking of zodiac signs. Is Colombian Airlines as well? It, maybe these are all airlines. Crab Airlines, Bull Airlines, Twins Airlines, Scales, I, Island Airlines. I don't know. Um, Virgin Atlantic? It isn't Virgin Virgin Mobile? Um, is wait is Virgin Airline and and a mobile? I don't know. I'm getting confused. This game is confusing me. It feels like crab and bull ought to go together just because they're animals. But oh, are these are these the the representations of zodiac signs? Like, isn't Cancer a crab? Gemini is twins. Uh, Libra is scales, and Taurus is a bull. What are these? Record labels. Oh, Columbia is a record label. And Virgin is a record label. Island is a record label. Capitals, I don't know. Capital Records, okay. Island, though. Island Records or something? I don't know. This was definitely the hardest one for me, the record labels. Um, this, <laughs> it's kind of interesting that because I got the purple, it got me. Yeah, I think these help each other for sure. I'm sure, I mean, that, that was on purpose, but yeah. All right. Well, I managed to get it somehow. I don't know how that happened, but there we go. Okay. Let's play Word 500. I will make the thumbnail first. So let's, um, let's do one of these again. Uh, all right. Oh, I need a starting word first. Um, any five letter words here? Twins? I don't know if I like that. Staff? Double letter is very confusing as a start for Word 500. If there's something better. All right, we're going to start with staff. The way this game works, it tells you how many greens, how many yellows, and how many reds you got. Honestly, five reds is one of the best possible results, because then you know that they're just all red. Red meaning not in the words, like gray and wordle. Um, the greens and yellows work exactly like wordle as well. Just you don't know which letter got colored. You, have to, you just get a count. So it's just strictly harder than wordle, other than more guesses. One more guess, that's what we get, um, which can make a big difference. What should I do here? What if I do something like clerk? Three yellows in clerk. Wonderful. So I'm going to assume we're an ER word. I can use underscores. Okay, ER word and then maybe LER. So I could do something like ILER maybe or OLER. What if I do Euler? Isn't that like a, that's like a Scott Strosal word, right? Two yellows. Okay. So if ER was correct, they're, I mean, they're both yellow. And then I don't think then L could be, could not be correct. 
and then these could not be correct. So it'd have to be like, I don't know, like R, E, and then we'd have like a C or a K somewhere. Um, I'm not sure how that works. I mean, it could end in E, it could end in like C, E. Ooh, I thought of farce, but it's not that. Um, but it could it could be R second and then C E. Problem is, we're running out of vowels. Bruce <laughs> um, could also be R C E. Could also be something else entirely. Like we could have the L correct and not the R. That would look exactly the same. Except that we wouldn't be able to put L second. But we could end in L E. Uncle. Yes, I like uncle. One yellow and uncle. So if we assume it's the E and that we didn't get the L correct, that means we have an R. No, no C. So we'd have to have a K. Okay, uh, how do we do this? Cur. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. We've got to have the E, otherwise we don't have any vowels. I mean, I guess we could use only Y's, but that seems wrong. Um, we can also only have the one E, and it, can, and it goes towards the start. Something's wrong here. So I think what might have happened here... Okay, let's, let's restart this. So I think definitely E's all the way down. I think. We'll assume that, which means no L, C, N, or U. So no C, no L, um, no L. Now, what if we had the, uh, we'd have, then, then we have, okay. If the E is in, we're forced to have the R and K. So we're forced to do exactly this. If we don't want to do that, then we can't have the E in. Interesting. So then, um, I mean, one of these letters is probably right all the way down, so that would be the L, which means no C, U, or N. We're, we're forced to use the R and the K here, and that, that finishes that way. And then we have no vowels. Okay, so maybe we don't have a letter correct all the way down. So the R could be correct in these two. E not correct, L not correct. C, C could have been the correct one here. Well, these would be the correct ones because we need three here. This is an interesting result here. And then we get to use an O or an I. So we could do something like, like Rocky. Darn. Oh no, it couldn't have been. I got very excited about Rocky, but it couldn't have been. All right, two greens though. If we place the R, and we couldn't have placed the... Yeah, I think this is what happened. Uh, so then we have an I. Wait, how does this work with that? With the K green, but the C not? That just doesn't work. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to the drawing board here. So... Which two letters are wrong in clerk? It's got to be the L, E, or R. Through two of those, I, th I think we have to have the C and the K. Which means we have this C, which means we have no L or E. Okay, so that, that's exactly what happens. And then down here, that means the C is the yellow, and then we get two greens here. What if it was the R and the O? No, but the K has to be green, because the K is in there. And then the other green, if we have an I, the other green, no, the other green has to be the R. This is exactly what I got. So it's completely logical from the expectation that one of L E R or two of L E R or or that it comes from C and K being yellow. That's what it comes from. Um, we get this, but I don't like C can't go anywhere, so this can't work. Interesting. So I 
That means one of CK is out. Didn't we say if E was in, then we just have all sorts of problems? Because the C and the L are now out, we get the R and the K. Wait, that forces this R to be in, and then it forces R to be in, K to be in. We don't know that it's green, though. So R and K, and then there's no E in Rocky, but then, so we'd have to introduce an E. There's just not a there's just not a word like this, right? One of these two would be an E, which means one of these two would be the yellow or the gray. Well, what if we end, okay, we know there's a K, we know there's an R, we know there's not an O. Okay, so it's these three letters. It would have to be like I don't know, like Jerky. Perky. Got it. Wow. <clears throat> Figured it out. <laughs> that was tough. Nice. That's a tough word. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that solve. That just, I got a little sidetracked with Rocky, but it helped a lot. Yeah, it just, it just kept coming back to, to be this triangular pattern, but I couldn't think how that would get arranged. But thinking, but I wasn't thinking about Y at the end. And E-R-K-Y has several words, um, at least two. <laughs> cool. Good. All right. Let's do polygonal. It's an eight-letter word. This repeats three times. This repeats twice. This repeats twice. I'm going to see what I-N-G looks like. Uh, <laughs> Icing. <laughs> Wow. I don't think I've seen anything like this. Um, it would be like an E-D-E-D, -E -D, like... Oh, wow. It, it, it's got the same three letters twice in a row. Um, could it, like, end in E here? And then... Oh, no. I really want to get this in Hexpert. In fact, we should turn on Hexpert. But what does this? It feels like there's probably going to be like one word that does this. What repeats the same three letters twice? And then that, this letter's also at the start. Like, there's plenty of ing ing words, like bringing, right? But I have to put, I have to put an I here. Icking ing. I singing. I'm I singing my cake. Um, I don't see how this is anything. I ringing. I ring. I ringing. That's what iPhones do. They I ring. Um, what else could we do? S T Y. Like how how does this work? Bobabar. I'm going to have to do fillers. Let's start with machined. This is an N. This is probably an E. Maybe. Um, this can't be the E, so the E could be there. Um, not there, sorry. I don't know how this works. Time for robustly. O is second, N is in yellow. S E nonsense. Wow, I never really thought about that. Oh, that's hard because it's not. I never thought of the word nonsense that way. It's the only word, it, literally, the only word is nonsense. I knew it was just the one word. I don't think I would have ever gotten that. That is tough. Congrats if you got that. 
I'm impressed. All right. If you got it without a filler, I mean. Um, mini. What do we, what letter do we want to put here? How about, how about since? Oh, that repeats the E as well. Since. That uses the C. All right, something else. Um, Seedy with an A. No, that doesn't fit the pattern. What am I doing? Um, sushi. No. Wait, what does this? E. N. Enter. Enter seems good. All right, I want to put an R here, and I want to end with E. What does this? All right, maybe we'll put our second. I can't think of what letter would go here. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, could it be like RE here? Prep, prep, preppy? No. Preppy with an I? No. Um, what? For repeated letters, the R. Re. Rearm. Okay. Could the repeated letter be an A? Areas. Oh, a plural. Wow. Okay, that's a tough one. Nice. Uh, three thirty-six words. This is one of the the lesser common ones but still pretty common yeah that was tough areas okay well let's do symbol start with blaze nice z caught one so we're gonna do an er word um i think it's been timer i used to do timer but we can come up with a let's do poker how about that i don't know if it's been poker before e is fourth for once it's not an er but maybe r is second with an e here r likes to be second um, I could do something like dried. Why not? <laughs> nice. That was the word. Symbol in three. Sweet. At some point, I wanted my threes to surpass the fives, but that's never going to happen now. The fives are way ahead of threes. Okay. Let's do fusel. We can start with dried. Nice. Um, let's try to place this uh, I. We'll do mimic. Okay, the I got placed. These are alphabetical clues, so these just aren't near M. That's not near I. That's not near C. So, hmm. What are we going to do here? About 50. FI is correct. <laughs> Getting one letter at a time. Um, can't be fight. Can't be finch. Huh. What goes FI? Fishy? No, there's no Y. Also, this can't be H because that's too close to I. Huh, I'm a little bit lost here. What could this be? Fight. 
I want to do an ER word so badly, but there's no E or R. Um, um, fecal. That's not how you spell fecal? How do you spell fecal? Oh, E. Darn it. Um, darn, I thought I got something. I just need something to guess. Um, Fee-fi-fo-fum. Fizzy. No, there's no Y. Keep on an N and Y. All right, I'm going to guess chasm to get letters. There's a C and an S. It could be a plural. I don't know what it would be. I have to do two vowels here, so we're going to we're going to check if there's an O or a U in this word. And we're going to try to place the S and the C if we can. Put an S at the end if I can. Um, I guess I won't be able to use the C. Um, can I do anything here? I really don't. Yeah, I mean, there might be another vowel. If I try the S here, that helps a bit, but I'd, I'd like to try it at the end. Mm, it doesn't really matter where I try it, does it? If I can put it anywhere, that would be helpful. Well, I, not at the start, because we know it starts with F, but... I can't think of a good... Like, I could guess rows, right? But I can't think of a good... I have to guess vowels in these, and because I didn't explain it, I have to guess vowels in these two slots. So I'm not going to be able to get the answer anyway. Um, what is the word? F like Fisco or something. I don't know. What is it? Um, all right. We're not going to guess S at all. We're going to get new letters. How about that? We haven't tried L, but like, like what goes with this? F, F I. I don't think it's F I C S. What would go here? Ficus. The answer is ficus. I'm almost sure. So we're gonna do sound, and we're gonna do ficus. Okay. Ficus is a tough word. All right. Cool. All right, let's do the blind one. That took me a long time to think of. Can't start with ficus because I have to put a vowel in that middle. Um, so you know what? Let's start with something like... Um, how about stare? Start with a good, lore, a good start. We'll try to place this. It doesn't really matter what we guess here, but we could try to guess, uh, see if we can get that right in two. But um, I'm going to move the R and the T like that. Uh, or maybe we'll do a TR word. Um, how about Trump? But what do I want to get here? Let's get like an N or an L or something. Um, I can't do double O L though, so it might be better to get the N. Is there a word like this?
strong. Trend, but there's no E. Trunk. There we go. Okay, T is correct. R is not. Um, and there's no N. I'm not allowed to guess Q, E, F, K, Z, or C in this one. Likely I can guess R. I'm thinking something like Taurus, but there's no S. Um, but like, let's put an R there. Um, torch would be what I'd guess if I was allowed to guess C. Um, What if I end in R? Would that help? I can't do ER is the problem. Um, because there's no E, and I can't guess E in this one. Something like tutor? Not a bad guess, actually. Okay, we still have not found the R, but we did find an O. So I think the R, the R is actually forced there, so we did kind of find it. Um what goes here? T I R T O R T H R throw. Throw, nice. Throw is a tough word because you don't think of. I, I don't think of thr pretty naturally. Nice. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed these games. Um, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.